Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, just going to share with you a quick video on a DYI gravity fed water filtration system that I uh, came up with and am currently using for myself. Um, what I got here is uh, just a bunch of bits and pieces that I bought all uh, separately and put together, assembled to make what I wanted out of a gravity fed filtration system. Um, I started off with the uh, 4 liter platypus uh, gravity works bags. Uh, you get your dirty bag and your clean bag. Um, then I bought a uh, hose kit from them which came with uh, these connector for the clean bag and then the 90 degree elbow connector to go to the dirty bag along with a flow restrictor um, and this length of hose here uh, that I'm using. Um, so what you do is uh, you take and con quick connect the connector there to your dirty bag um, and then I added a female valved, and that's important, valved connector there and the reason why that's important is because uh, this is a female valved connector but once this is plugged in the water is coming so this allows you to have a uh, length of hose that you can pick up and, and manipulate to be able to connect your next section of the filter which is the uh, in my case I chose to go with the Sawyer Mini in line which is a one uh, one micron filter uh, and all I did is uh, connected a little section of this hose that I cut off uh, just enough to where the two fittings were hitting each other and they were nice and tight and it was a quick male quick disconnect so uh, put that in line with the flow going towards your clean water bag. Just plug that in right there. And then uh, next is if you're going to use carbon, uh, you've got choices. You can, you can use a store-bought version, which this is the Gravity Works uh, carbon element. Uh, this is about uh, $12. It's really light. They claim it'll do 300 gallons. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to test it. But um, I bought one just to check it out, see what it would be like. Uh, I'll use it till it's done and then I'll you know, just kind of maybe do something else with it or throw it away. Either way, they're, they're kind of expensive and, you know, uh, we are pretty crafty as humans. So I got to thinking and looking and I couldn't find anything out there that uh, was an inline gravity uh, fed uh, filter, carbon filter. So I made one. Uh, there was a guy out there that has a video, I don't know his name, uh, where it's a much more complicated assembled thing with glue and silicone and screens and just very too much work uh, when it could be much simpler not not to say it wasn't a good idea a great idea I mean every all of us you know to each their own but uh, to me this was cheaper simpler lighter and uh, just that much better so all this is is this is a irrigation pipe it's three quarter by six inch nipple uh, it's a cast piece so uh, you do have a seam but to just check the threads, make sure they're lined up good and, and uh, grab it. They're cheap. They're just a dollar and some change. So uh, and then I bought two caps to go with them. These are three quarter caps. They're threaded. And then uh, the last is uh, these quick disconnects. And it's you know just a male end on this end and this end is threaded and it's a pipe thread. So um, what you do is you uh, drill them out with a 7 16 bit. I use my drill press uh, so it was straight and everything was good and uh, then you've got uh, you've got to buy this bit if you don't have one it's a quarter inch by 18 and uh, PT I use a 7 16 bit uh, this is pipe thread so it's tapered you've got uh, skinnier on one end thicker on one end and uh, so when you run this in if you do use the same materials as me these caps are about 3 16 or so thick maybe a scooch more so there's plenty of meat there to, to tap you want to stop just at the, the third to last cutting uh, thread and what that will give you is the perfect uh, mating of these two here uh, right as this cinches up tight the threads are starting to lock in and uh, for the little bit of water pressure that's going to be on this you know it's just snug and a little bit more um, this guy here uh, these are pipe threads also so they're tapered uh, same principle just uh, get them to where it's hand tight give it a little crank and for the pressure that's going to be on it, uh, it's not going to leak. It's going to be fine. So, you know, pretty much 
probably not even four dollars for all of this. The volume is is probably a hundred percent that, um, or fifty percent more, or whatever the heck it would be. Um, you know, double, and uh, it's it's forever. I mean, this will last a long, long, long time. Where this, you know, and you can change it out. Uh, all you got to do is go to your local aquarium shop and buy some activated carbon for ten bucks, and you'll be able to fill this for the rest of your life. Um, and that being said, you know you might need more filtering, so I made a bigger version. That uh, if you're in a place where you know you're going to need to filter a lot of water that is maybe a little bit smellier than you'd like or has a bad flavor to it, maybe it's got some chemicals that you know carbon will take out, fertilizer stuff like that. Um, then you know that might be a really uh, good one to have. Uh, same thing, three bucks to make this. Uh, it's not that heavy, it looks pretty big, but it really isn't that heavy. And with carbon in it, it doesn't make that much more weight, carbon's light. And then I made one more version, I made this smaller guy. Um, so, you know, if you just wanted to maybe have that in line, right off a clean bag with a filter that you could, or not a clean bag, but a drinking bag, uh, that you would hold dirty water and you wanted to drink right out of it, you could just have your filter, this little guy, and then, you know, a, a section of hose with a bite valve. And you could drink straight from the dirty bag, so that's an option with this setup. You know, the, with the quick disconnects, there's a lot of different you know setups you can do. Um, so, and with these, you don't have to carry them all. But if you know you're going somewhere and you want to have a little extra, then you can take that guy. If it's going to be your your normal stuff or whatever, then maybe this guy or even that guy. But every you know, I can add two more connectors on each one of these and and, and just quick and easy swap out. But it doesn't take two seconds to unscrew those and. You know, it's plastic to plastic, those threads won't get damaged from a lot of on and off. So, um, anyways, to connect the filter to your carbon, you've got to have two female connectors. These are non-valved uh, quick disconnects, so they're just straight through, no valves, uh, with a, just a little section of hose that I cut off from this. Again, they're touching, so it's the shortest, uh, smallest, lightest way I could do it using quick disconnects. So plug that in. And then whatever you know, carbon filter you choose, you plug it in. You would obviously have to have quick disconnects on it. Um, and then at this point, you've got some options. Um, if you're gonna, if you've got uh, your your clean bag sitting in your backpack, and you're not taking it out, you're leaving it in. Well, you would have this hose connected pretty much at all times to the clean bag. And uh, sorry about that. And uh, so it'd be screwed in right there. And then this end. Um, you could either uh, connect right to your carbon filter and feed right into your your packed or your uh, your bladder, which is packed in the, the bag. And once it's filled up, you disconnect. And you know this is a valved female N2, so no water will come out. Uh, it's it, as soon as you connect it, then the flow starts. So that's important to have there if you're going to do that. And, uh, you know, again, if uh, once this is filled up and it's in your bag, um, you can just simply uh, connect your, um, your bite valve and uh, you're, you're drinking. So, um, really easy, uh, simple thing to do. Um, and then um, you can also take this other length of hose, which I added a female non valved end to and a male uh, end to and you can extend the length of your hose um, and it's always good to have extra hose and with the, having these two connectors it gives me backup connectors uh, and a backup o-ring which is important to all of this because if these o-rings fail you're screwed so it's always a good idea to have uh, o-rings around they're not screwed but it's going to leak a little bit and uh, so anyways um, that's what I came up with uh, I did want to add that uh, a little bit of this uh, electrostatic uh, filter media here um, in, in this end uh, is a good idea uh, that way none of the granules come out especially if you smash them down to get a more packed filter um, you know you definitely want something here to, to filter that out not that it'll hurt you it's just uh, you know you'll end up with it in your clean bag uh, or even more you can end up with it in your mouth if it'll get by the bite valve so um, and there's obviously other setups that you could do with what I got here, um, but this is the two ways that I'll be using it. 
and uh, this is kind of a video response for uh, Simon that uh, he made a good video about uh, his little setup where he uses a, a bladder that has a pump hand pump valve set up to it that'll inflate the, the uh, outer liner around an inner liner filled with water and force you know put pressure on the system is what it does and uh, neat neat idea and uh, I liked it but um, you know that forces you to have some kind of uh, constant interaction with your filtration system while it's working and that means you're not able to do other things and you know that could could or could be you know a point or could be a mute point but um, with this you just as long as this is higher than this it's filtering and it's doing its job and it doesn't take long to I mean just a few minutes to filter four liters out of this thing it's got good flow to it and the carbon only slows it down a little bit so this is set up it's doing its thing and you're going and doing your thing you could be collecting wood you could be getting your fire started you could be eating you could be uh, you know whatever the case might be your hands are free I guess is my point and uh, that means you can be doing other things so nothing against his stuff nothing against his video uh, I don't do this this is this is the first time I've made a video like this but uh, I just thought that this needed to be shared uh, and I wanted him to see it because he makes a couple videos and he, he does a good job I like the, the ideas he comes up with and I wanted to share it so Again, nothing against his setup. This is not what it's about. It's about sharing and uh, everybody learning more. And, and uh, you know, options in life is key. And, and you know, I, I take a little bit from everybody. I hadn't seen anybody do this. You know, this is, I looked and I found one other video out there about an inline, you know, specific backpacking carbon filter DIY. And uh, so I think, uh, you know, I think I might be the first on this one. And uh, I hope other people, you know, take my idea and run with it and do something cool or just copy it um, which is perfectly fine with me for the money you spend on it and for the kind of use you get out of it uh, this is worth every bang or every bit of the money uh, it's got a lot of bang for its buck um, so anyways uh, if you have any questions about what I did just let me know I'll be happy to answer them for you Simon I check this out tell me what you think uh, you're welcome to put your spin on it um, and I'd definitely like to hear some feedback from people see what they think about my idea and uh, yeah, have fun out there, be safe, and uh, take care.